Uh, I'll have the scongili. Excellent choice. Thank you. One question. What is it? Well, it's a... No, no, no! Okay, don't tell me. I want to be surprised. <laughs> How can you order something without knowing what it is? How can you order the same thing every time we go out? I do not. He'll have the penne marinara, half a Caesar salad, dressing on the side, no anchovies, and bruschetta to start. No, I'd like the special. Don't tell me what it is. Wow. Very good. Not fish, is it? Uh, no, sir. Or fried or spicy. Would you like me to tell you what no, it is? No, I'm sure it's good. <laughs> tell me what it is. <laughs> He'll have the penne. I, I would have eaten it. I'll tell the chef, sir. He'll be thrilled. Um, listen, uh, something um, came up today that we need to talk about. What's that? I got a case that will require me to go to Washington for a week. Oh, cool. Good for you, honey. Well, I I'd have to leave the day after tomorrow, but uh, if you don't want me to go... Do you want to go? No, of course I don't want to go. Then don't go. No, I, I want to go. <laughs> then go. What I meant was, I don't want to be gone that long unless it's okay with you. Honey, it's totally okay. Good. <laughs> you know, we haven't spent a night apart since we got married. What about the night you fell asleep at Jack's girlfriend's house? Bring us a bottle of wine. Um, doesn't matter what it is. Any 94 Cabernet. Uh, California, but, but not Sonoma. Uh, you pick. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder what we'll get. <laughs> Greg, wake up. Yeah. Greg, wake up. What? Greg, I just had a really, really bad dream. You cannot go on your trip. But you just said that I could. No, but that was before all the facts were in. What facts? <laughs> I just told you I had a dream. <laughs> I'm sorry you had a bad dream, but that's no reason for me not to go to Washington. Oh, Greg, it was a terrible dream. I mean, the plane dropped out of the sky. It was in flames. So was the dessert you had last night. I know the difference between dessert and an airplane. It was a plane. All right, it had the mustache and hair under its wings, but it was a plane and you were in it and it crashed. I can't change my plans based on a dream. Didn't you ask me if it was okay with me if you went? Yeah. So what would you have done if I had said no? We would have talked about it. Until I said yes? Yeah. <laughs> no. Tell you what, why don't I just take a different flight? You already bought a ticket? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Darwin, can't you be reasonable? Of course I can be reasonable. We'll call Abby. I'll have her throw your tarot cards. <laughs> and then if everything checks out, then you can go. What if I say no? Well, then we'll talk about it until you say yes. Fair enough. <laughs> Mr. Montgomery, Mr. Claiborne on line two from Washington. Can I call him back? I'm in an important meeting. <laughs> I'm having trouble getting a clear reading. Um, Greg, would you mind holding this crystal to your forehead? Yes, I would mind. Greg! Can we just move this along? Deal a card, hit me. Death! Hit me again. Don't worry. Don't worry. Death doesn't always mean death. Sometimes it does. Well, sometimes it just means a change is coming. It's like dying. That's a change. So's a haircut. I didn't dream you would die in a fiery haircut. <laughs> The office staff wants to know if you're bogarting anything in there. It's just incense, Marlene. Uh-huh. Abby, forget about the cards. Tell Greg how accurate my dreams are. Oh, they're very accurate. It's eerie. Yeah, tell him about your Uncle Mike. She dreamed he was going to die, and two weeks later he did. That's terrible. Actually, it was a relief. He'd been very, very sick. <laughs> okay. Abby, look, wouldn't you agree there are other interpretations to Dharma's dream besides my plane crashing? Yes, but the plane crash can symbolize all kinds of things. But, like, Dharma just doesn't want me to go. Well, that's one possibility. Thank you, Abby. Or Dharma's not being satisfied in bed. What? Well, think of it, Greg. I mean, the airplane thrusts upward and then 
falls impotently to the ground. Okay, my point is, it could be a lot of things. Like a plane crash! No, no, you know, I don't think so. You know, let me throw the cards again. Greg, this time hold the crystal over your penis. Grandma! Oh, there are no towels in here. There aren't? No. Oh, that's weird, huh? No towels, huh? Grandma, I have a plane to catch. Oh, that's today? Yeah. Right! Oh, you know what? Here. Why don't you use some of these, and I'll see what else I can find. Dharma, there's only one Kleenex in here. I'm sorry, I'm looking for more. No, find me a towel. I can only do one thing at a time, honey. This is ridiculous. Found one. Thank you. Oh, jeez, this smells like the dogs. Well, honey, it is their towel. I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. Where are my suits? Dry cleaner. All of them? Oh, we had coupons. Okay. I'm just gonna go to the office and get the suit that I keep there. You keep a suit at the office? Yes. You have secret clothes that I don't know about? Whoa, honey! You need to sit down and we need to talk about this. Dharma, I have to go. I'll buy socks and underwear in Washington. I'll call you when I get there. Oh, bad news, honey. Your car won't start. And why might that be? Uh, not sure this came off. <laughs> why don't I just call a cab? Our phone's out of order. Oh, yeah, I know. I wrote them a letter about that already. <laughs> You forgot this, didn't you? Dharma, okay, stop you, it. No, you know, I don't want you to go, This Greg. is ridiculous. Me, okay, okay. You're right. I'm acting totally crazy. Ha-ha! <laughs> Honey, listen. I understand you're upset, but that's only because we've never spent a night apart. Except for the night you fell asleep at your ex-girlfriend's house. All I'm saying is you're upset that I'm going away, and that's why you had the bad dream. Boy, I really don't think so, Oh, come on. Greg. I can't imagine what it's going to be like to be away from you. It'll be like the night you fell asleep at Jack's girlfriend's house, except repeated seven times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I promise that I will call you the minute the plane lands in Washington. Promise? As soon as we hit the ground, smoothly, on the wheels. All right. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Oh, have a good trip. I'll see you next week. Yeah. Bring back that Miami Vice no socks look? Yeah. Dharma hid my socks. I got an extra pair. In your carry-on? In my pants. What? I've never wanted anything less in my life. So why'd she hide your socks? She really didn't want me to go. <laughs> Jane drove me to the airport. That was nice. Yesterday. And Dharma had this silly dream the plane was gonna crash and she kind of overreacted. Wait a minute. The plane is no. gonna crash? Shh. The plane's not gonna crash. Well, what are you, insane? We're, we're, we're talking about Dharma Pete. here. I mean, this is a person that knows when people are gonna I die. Tell him, nothing's gonna happen. Hey, but, hey! It's all right, I'm with the Justice Department. Hey, I'll man. take care of it. I'll. Oh, man! Oh, my God! I mean, I'm a young man! I've, I've got so much I never got to do! Pete, you're not gonna die! <laughs> I am so scared right now! Hold me, Greg! I'm not gonna hold you! Right, I'll hold you! Oh. I'll see you on the other side, buddy. Bring. Ring. Oh! Ah! Hello, 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 hello. Oh, thank 
God, you're okay. I, I'm I'm fine. Oh God, I was so scared. The flight was perfect. No turbulence, nothing. Not a bump, and I've never felt better. How do you know you're not in heaven? Because <laughs> Pete's with me. I'll call you from the hotel. I love you. I love you too. Okay, we can all go to sleep now. Daddy didn't crash on a mountain and have to eat his buddy Pete. Here, you can come up. It'll be our little secret. Come up, you go. Okay. Come on, you can you can lay on Greg's side. Come on, you'll be great. There you go. Lay down. Lay down. Good night, baby. Come on, that's you. That's a good boy. Bad boy. Okay. All right. Good night, baby. <laughs> Look, you know what? <coughs> Somebody needs to learn to brush their teeth. Oh, yeah, baby. You know what I like. <laughs> yeah. Who are you talking to? My wife, do you mind? <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, <laughs> you know what I like. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> That's not it either. Come on, that's gross. Nobody likes that. <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> you won't take my word for it? Here. Will you tell Jane I've been a bad boy? <laughs> oh. There you go, Stinky. So beautiful. Look, just like Mommy. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, ten till five. What should we do now? Oh, Nunzio. I'm thinking Mohawk. <laughs> Jane, you sleep? What? Oh, good, you're up! <laughs> hey, listen, I just want to thank you again for staying over. You're welcome again. <laughs> you know what's weird? I'm tired, but I'm not sleepy. Huh? Not weird, huh? Weird. Yeah. Do you miss Pete? I'm starting to. <laughs> you know what would be fun? Sleeping. <laughs> I wish. No. I was thinking... We could go to the supermarket and slide up and down the aisles in our socks. <laughs> you know what else would be really fun? What? It's gonna be cool. Try this. Okay. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay. Now shut up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just ever since I met Greg, we've spent every night together. What about the time he fell asleep at his ex-girlfriend's? <laughs> yeah, I try not to bring that up. Well, you know what? Because I care about you, hmm? I'm gonna help you out here. Where are you going? Back to my place to sleep. <laughs> well, how does that help me? In the morning, you'll be really tired, but you'll still be alive. <laughs> no! Jane, please don't go, Jane! I'll let you kill me! <laughs> Stop 
Mom, what are you doing here? I got kicked out of the supermarket for no good reason. <laughs> what time is it? It's almost done. Want to watch the sunrise? Abby, you're talking in your sleep. No, no, it's Dharma. Dharma, honey, there are no monsters. Go back to your own bed. Oh, my God, you're huge. Go back to sleep, Larry. What's wrong, baby? You never crawled into bed with us unless there was a problem. I just can't sleep. Oh, do you want me to tuck you back in, Pumpkin? Larry, she's grown up. She lives across town now. Your mother will tuck you in. You miss Greg, don't you? I can't sleep without him. Oh, sweetie. Oh, I know what that's like. When we first moved here, your father used to forget and go back to our old house all the time. <laughs> nice couple, though. They'd always send him home in the morning. Well, were you able to sleep at night? <laughs> like a baby. In fact, Darm, would you mind if I got a little more sleep right now? We went to a dulcimer concert last night and it got really wild. Oh. I'm sorry. Sure, sure, sure. Mm. Ah. Are you going to go back home? No, I think I'll go in the living room and draw on the feelings wall. Oh, that's nice. Oh, God. I just had the strangest dream. Mm. Dharma was all grown up and lived across town, and we finally had a democratic president. <laughs> but we weren't happy. I have to sleep, Larry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble sleeping too. Um, hang on a second. Hey, 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 hey. I'm trying to follow the story. They're night nurses and they're naughty. What more do you need to know? I'm sorry, Pete's going through his briefs. What, what, what did you say? I've never had insomnia before. Not even when you fell asleep at Jack's girlfriend's house. Um, listen, why don't you just why don't you just fly out here and stay with me? Uh, no, I really need to work through this on my own. What? Well, you sure? Yeah. Plus, I have classes and I can't cancel them. And you and Pete are busy working. That's it, baby. Say, ah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we're re real busy working. Um, listen, honey, just j try to get some sleep. I will. I think I'll be okay now that I talked about it. Okay, I love you. Oh, well, yeah, baby. Take his temperature. I love you. <laughs> Okay, boys, tonight we sleep. Okay, but first who wants to pee on some trees? <laughs> you walked here? Well, Stinky and I walked. We took turns carrying Nunzio. <laughs> it's almost 10 miles. Yeah, it's a lot longer if you don't know you're coming here. <laughs> hey, do you want to go for a walk? Dom, is something wrong? Does something have to be wrong for me to want to walk my mother-in-law? <laughs> I can't find the Frank Sinatra album. Do you think we can do this to Vic Damone? <laughs> oh. Hi, Dharma. I'm sorry, did I come at a bad time? No, 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 no. I won't be ready for an hour or so. I'll be up in a little while, Edward. So will I. What is it? Uh, Kitty, I have a real problem. And all my friends are sick of hearing about it. So you came to me? I'm sleep deprived. What can I say? <laughs> is this because Gregory's out of town? Yeah, I can't believe how much I miss him. And that's it? Your problem is you miss your husband? <laughs> Kitty, I wasn't wearing my glasses, and it seems I have taken one of your sleeping pills. Oh, that's all right, Edward. So did I. Oh, <laughs> good. That worked out. Good night. <laughs> Let me know when you have a real problem. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, honey. Yeah, I guess I was sleeping. Hey, I was sleeping! <laughs> hey, listen, I'm sorry I was such a nut, but you were right, that stupid plane crash stream was just me freaking out that you were leaving. And you know what, I talked to your mom, 
and I realized that I'm really lucky that I miss you. You know, with a sleeping pill and a little sherry in her, she's kind of nice to talk to. <laughs> God, I'm sorry, I'm babbling. Uh, what's up? I, I just called to say I'm going to be a little late. See, I thought it was a direct flight, but apparently we have to change planes in North Dakota. Okay. <laughs> Give me one of those.